Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about my new purchases. If I happen to love, 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 or so, so, or uh, I wish I didn't buy. Pros and cons, each one of course has. So which one should we begin first? Let's talk about the Victoria alternating ring here and also the matching bracelet. This is the line bracelet, which is another way of saying of tennis bracelet, but they call it line bracelet, which has the movement and it is from the Victoria line and alternating because Victoria has different style. I know someone asked me the carat weight, the total of it. I believe it was under or above five carat even when it's so dark it sparkles like crazy when i can and i see i love getting matching set of pretty much anything so of course i love seeing these ring and the bracelet together so it is different than just a typical tennis bracelet that has just round everything but this has a different shape to it marquee and the round brilliant together that's two is one so two links i got to take off because these are too long for my wrist so those two are in the process of making something special for mommy and my daughter lydia so once it's here i'll show you guys but i just cannot wait to wear it with my little girl lydia and i hope she doesn't lose that to lock it push one par and just clip it so two different steps and two different hooks to make make sure it is secure but you really cannot even tell where it ends so i love it it can move around but you don't have to fuss around to twist or change the way it looks and julie sent me the shake test clip of it it does not flip over. I love, highly, highly recommend if you want tennis bracelet, but a different shape and also more feminine style. Alrighty. And the next one, this Cartier bracelet. It is called Love Bracelet. I have love and hate relationship right now because I just love the look of it when it's on the right side where you can see the tiny diamond, but you can clearly see this is the front and the diamond it shows right here but this has been keep moving around like flipping the other way and also because this has more weight it keeps going down and all i see is a clip on the front every time i like when i look at it this is what i see so i have to be keep moving this to the front every time i see it but i do really love the look of it that's why i say i have love and hate relationship i still love it but i think it's just no way for them to make it to stay put like this but if you watch my previous video you would know ideal new bracelet that said it would stay put and the uh, front will show on the front right here and you can also stack the similar look two or three different or even just have one so check that out fine jewelry with diamond great price point i'll link to them down below well still i love it but quite sad it just didn't do what i exactly wanted next one we have larberry of course i've been loving and loving 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 my go-to grab and go handbag it has been larberry pouch this is the color uh larberry green color and it fits great amount and my phone fits which says a lot it fits all my essentials like the card holder and the key fob and as you can see it's got the thickness here so it holds a lot of things and also you don't have to use it with the crossbody that you can get from Samorga Montaigne chain my collab insert with Samorga 
it becomes crossbody bag but by itself you can also use as a catch-all pouch inside your tote bag but also you can use this as a makeup pouch this pouch itself is so lovely i really love their heavy grain and i love this fuchsia shade as well and again this leather is very very durable and luxurious and lining is beautiful leather as well and with the insert you can wear a crossbody it becomes a like handbag with the chain but again you can use this pouch in so many different ways and shout out to the winners for the pouch and also the samorga gift card yes i know you guys are enjoying so i'm very very happy happy to hear that just not the handbag i've had this gold birkin for a while but the charm is brand new to me but pre-loved my first ever pre-loved item and this charm is just so charming i have been absolutely loving i just want to thank to my savvy who let me purchase it was just the right time she was about to let it go and she was gonna sell it to a fashion file i think and i happened to respond back to her like last minute thing so very very precious i got it next let's talk about this blanket scarf from lb i love this scarf so much this was like sold out lighter gray color and this is lighter shade of uh, 10 and there's darker shade 10 i haven't checked since then but if you see them and if you've been wanting it uh, if these are available i highly recommend i love it so so much it's quite thick and it keeps you warm i know the spring is here but if it's still cold where you are and if you love scarf this is really really nice and i love it it's quite long so you can do it one time with loose like this but you can do it twice and i love this ginormous <laughs> stitching details everywhere love 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 and you can flip it and wear a more lighter shade super simple outfit this just put it on it elevates right away and it's 100 cashmere very soft well since we're talking about wintery things let's talk about these boots when i see these i think of my ugg boots also because i love them so much i didn't want to buy so many of those just different colors but when i saw these actually last year these were launched with the black color and also tan color but those were all sold out this year brand new color this color is just so good it goes with cooler tone but also warmer tone goes with everything so i am loving them and i wore them already so many times believe it or not i know it is not that cold to wear something like these but it looks so cute and i get really cold easily so this is just perfect for me but actually it's quite heavy because it has quite thick thick sole here and lots of leather it's just really well made i would say not too heavy to the point it's just too heavy for you to walk around but i just wanted to point out quite heavy if you love ugg boots you will love these but if you're not you want to think again because this is more cute style not like fashionable or like high heel type of boots if you love those you need to get something else other than these but these are more cute and casual and very comfortable with van cleef van arpels alhambra vintage mother of pearl with the yellow gold bracelet one of the top questions i always get is it fragile yes it is fragile because it's mother of pearl so if you wonder or if you are afraid breaking or getting dull any jewelry actually even fine jewelry i don't recommend you to wear in shower which i always do so i totally understand if you're like me you want to wear 
like 24 7. don't go with mother of pearl or any stone in general onyx the black one i love i wear them in the shower water i don't even care because they're so so tough tough wearing but still at the same time i can't guarantee if they will still look like that after years later so my recommendation don't wear them in shower or sleeping with them but do i recommend i absolutely recommend this is the most elegant look of the combination so so elegant and super luxurious mother of pearl the pearly milky type of white color with yellow gold that combination you just yeah it's the best it's really easy to take it off but very hard to put it on i mean that's the only thing i would say i don't really like but it's worth it because <laughs> i love the look okay last jewelry to talk about is this lock bracelet from tiffany all diamond pave bracelet with rose gold there is this spring inside on one side and just pull it and that's how you lock it and i have my name and my family initials right there engraved i love 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 seeing those i gifted this to myself on my 40th birthday so very very special and also when this was launched at first that's when i purchased it took some time to go through the engraving because they had to send to new york and have it done and come back and also they have engraved on the tiffany box also on top of the exact same as this set i know it's just a bracelet but there's a story behind some of you asked me which one is more comfortable love bracelet from Cartier or lock bracelet from Tiffany because this one is a bit thicker almost half it's bigger and thicker and it sticks out somehow I wouldn't say this is uncomfortable but if I have to compare to love bracelets I know it's like all locked up I can't pull it right now but you guys all know I have these two right here so these are thinner and more close to my wrist and my skin so these sit lower than this so I'll say this is more comfortable but if you don't own this and if you happen to have this or you're thinking of getting it I don't think that will be something to worry about and not to get that cannot be the reason because this is still comfortable on your wrist these diamonds are a lot bigger than the pave from cartier low bracelet i have compared and also these are more sparkly tiffany round brilliant is just so iconic and it's the sparkliest diamond cut speaking of tiffany let's talk about return to tiffany bag this is a brand new handbag Tiffany launched and that's when I got it and I also gifted one of them to my subby of course a giveaway and I happened to keep the pink one the handbag and also the card holder the winner got the pink color so now I have the Tiffany blue shade I love 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 it's like a sliding of the heart return to Tiffany so two and in the middle you can add and on the back like this way it's bull calf and grained leather so you don't have to worry about but it's really soft as well and this is a size mini there is the bucket style which is taller it's really cute uh, and also they have bigger sizes but this mini size is the most popular size so far i know of and now they have been bringing out more and more oh my goodness this is so cute and also quite understated i think nobody can really tell unless they look at what it says tiffany and co i mean far away you really cannot see pretty much anything and the shape is quite interesting and super cute very very adorable handbag to have and it fits a lot i highly recommend 
especially when the price is not too high right now it is under 2000 and it's full leather inside and out same leather that LV used for their coppicins. Coppicins is heavier because of the hardware and also the leather. They added more layers, so that's why it's heavier. But this is not as heavy, quite light. They did a really good job on making Return to Tiffany handbag from Tiffany. Let's move on with the Hermes Birkin size 25 palladium hardware color fuchsia and this is with the ostrich i have been absolutely loving and just so adorable color of course but the size is very very adorable and loving it fits everything and more than i normally carry around in my handbag so I've been loving only thing of course I have to talk about only thing and I like to talk about like good and bad of course everything has this yeah in my unboxing I talked about it also and some of you dislike handle drop is quite tight for anyone this is not really practical to wear a uh, crook of your arm it will go through like how I did but you have to go through <laughs> to take that off without damaging your handle oh my goodness now stuck here and also if you're like me wear thick watch and bracelets this is not that easy i've been wearing it like just holding it like this or just holding it this way 30 is still my favorite and i think that's the most practical size still and also the handle drop is so much bigger so size 30 is just best in my opinion for anybody but 25 is great addition to have if you have 30 already and guys oh my goodness i love these so so much mac and mac these are so blingy bling bling if you love bling like i do this is for you so sparkly beautiful crystals i love that design the bow but also the colorway is so nice this style has been their classic so they have a ton of different color shades i'll link to those down below black will be the best fit it will go with pretty much everything i mean something like this is so different than anything i've got in my closets and i don't remember if this is 90 or 100 millimeter but these are so comfortable i can't believe it mac and mac they just know how to make them looking beautiful but also comfortable I love everything about these and I cannot wait to get another pair or maybe different style. They have so many different kind and I've been really into. Okay, I didn't bring Louis Vuitton coat, which is a bit shorter than the typical ones I have. I love, love, love. I just didn't get to bring it, but you guys know I love. These two, honestly, I regret. I'm okay, I got it, but it was the moment I was shopping like crazy that day when LV came. That's where I was crazy enough to get it, but I don't recommend for you to get it. I mean, so basic, just white shorts. Anywhere you can get something like this. Only thing is the canvas right here, monogram, and this leather. So because of these, I cannot wash this yeah at home so this has to be dry clean but it is white so yeah after I unboxed I was like wow so I purchased this <laughs> this looked really nice actually with the bomber jacket so I was wearing it like this and of course I just I got both but now I think of like Karis you're crazy you really didn't have to get this mm -mm. you didn't have to pay over a thousand for just simple white shorts 
Anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys you don't have to spend that much for white simple shorts. This bomber jacket is really, really nice. I love it. Very lightweight. Far away, it's just black bomber jacket with just a touch of gold hardware. But when you get close to it, you can see the monogram. So I love something like that. And it's got the leather point here and also here. It's beautifully made. So this, I'm happy. Dior Montaigne trench coat. Oh my goodness, this trench coat I have been wearing. Oh my goodness, I should say nonstop. This is so good, guys. I love how chic it looks. I love wearing this trench coat on top of leggings and just t-shirt that I wear at home and pop on aspidrols or sneakers or any, any shoes and crossbody looks so good i just love this silhouette on the back you can see the beautiful line like a line looks like you're wearing a dress gorgeous i love 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 it's not super fitted style but it clearly shows the fit like line but it looks somewhat oversized or loose fit type of look very chic i highly recommend i store this inside of this garment i just like to put it in where it came from anyways it gets wrinkled up on the bottom but as soon as i wear it i walk around a little bit the wrinkles are gone easy peasy you can wear it dressy with skirt and pumps but also wear it with blue jeans very very versatile and super comfortable and easy to pair it with anything this is another piece that elevates your look quickly like instant look only thing i don't really like about is the belt both sides it's got which makes the line this will pop open which i worried actually when i tried this trench coat on at the store but <laughs> My essay told me it wouldn't come off. Nobody complained. I actually knew where it would come off because it's quite short. I mean, unless I move a lot, I can still manage to keep this on. But time to time, it will pop open. But still worth getting. I love this. Okay, I haven't been wearing my Chanel Aspergerals for some time. But when I saw these at the store, I fell in love and I got the last piece I believe in the US and I have been loving these so so much. Of course, very very comfortable with the lambskin but also black and white with CC logo. As you guys all know I don't love like too much logo and monogram everywhere but this pops a little bit but with simple outfit, another elevating item to add on and here i've got two capucines i got this for my 40th birthday last year and i don't think i talked about this in this type of you know updating video i special order this piece but if you go to different boutiques especially big stores might have one or two available so you don't have to go through waiting time i waited for about seven or eight months to get it exactly what i wanted i wanted yellow gold and the pink shade and it is ostrich i love 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 and the lining is the same color as outside it comes with thin shoulder strap rather than the thick version which i never really wear so i am glad they added thin shoulder strap and also it is adjustable so you guys all know how much i love capucines but i don't think i made a video reviewing about capucines handbag itself so let me know in the comment below if you like to know more about the capucines and also the comparison with the size bb that's the call i mean size i love bb or mini so now i have the full ostrich two handbags and Oh, you guys know I love pink so I am very happy with having these two by the way this is the lipstick I am wearing I've been loving this color shade so much 
Guys, let's talk about the Loop Hobo Reverse Monogram from Louis Vuitton. This handbag has been a big surprise for me. I've posted on my Instagram how much I love this handbag. Big surprise because I don't normally like hobo style something slouchy but you guys know i've been getting more into slouchy and more flexible casual type of handbag like loy bay i've been loving but this is a big surprise because it's like a messenger bag normally i don't love i like more dressy and more structured style handbag like this type so that was a big surprise and i realized many of you have been also interested in this same handbag and I got many questions. One, is it big? Like, is it okay for a petite body type? You guys know I am not that big or not that tall, so I am petite. This handbag, proportionally, it does not look too big, like travel size. It's not overwhelming. It's just really nice size. It looks smaller than Neverfull MM if you compare to that. This is more like PM size once it's folded. Of course, when you have this kind of flat like this, it looks kind of big, but look on the side. It's not that big. And once you have things inside, it becomes like fortune cookie and it's really nice shape i really like this like u shape i'll say and once you have it on it's comfortable size i don't think you have to worry about it if you're petite even smaller than me it's not overwhelming it's not huge like gm size and it fits of course a lot one thing it's hard to find things because everything tends to like slide down and it's rounded as you can see but the opening is big so it's not that hard and this is really nice drop for shoulder but if you want longer you can go with the chains like ton of chains samorga has i'll link to the ones i recommend from samorga as well if you want additional chain or you want something thicker than this with this strap oops guys i gotta go so many holes here you can make it shorter and wear more of a casual style if you don't really like chain style you can wear it single shoulder or crossbody more interesting in my opinion than never fall which is classic and so many people love and rave about but anyways i'm not gonna go too far this handbag is new and more interesting with this cute shape loop handbag they have smaller size loop those are a lot more structured not like this hobo or slouchy so if you want more casual look this is like perfect casual everyday bag compared to my um birkin i don't think it's a good comparison i know it but do you see this is size 30 but when you have it folded down do you see how small it becomes? Also, I love it because it does not have the Vachetta leather where I have to worry about staining. I know this is like, maybe I'm just too much about it. I honestly love the look of the honey, like super patina, like many years of wearing. When it looks nice, it looks so good, but who can do that? Like, and it's treated leather so you don't have to worry or there's like i mean this is like nothing to worry about very casual and also durable canvas and interesting on the bottom isn't it i really like this handbag i love the design last but not least a chat side trunk this handbag was one of the items i got from that video if you watch the first and the second one and also the unboxing i'll have those linked down below now you can see the comparison this is the color gold from hermes two or three of you dm me and told me this handbag is defective because the embossing right here is not all the way to 
the end. You see a little bit of gap. Because of that, and right here, you guys think I need to get it back to my store and they need to give me the new one, which I'm like, thank you for thinking of me. After I unboxed and looked close to it, I thought of this a bit odd. And I went back and look at the pictures on their website. When you zoom in, you can see the little gap also like my handbag. So don't worry about it. I checked with my CA Joel and he told me the same thing. It's not defective. And also each piece has been made individually different piece so a slight difference you will find and this handbag is very very different than anything i've got the trunk like petite mall is super structured and it's got monogram canvas so it's different style but this is like trunk with this hardware very bold look right there with lots of shiny gold so it looks more dressy but because of the leather here and it slouches right in the middle like this, then it becomes more casual. So this handbag has pretty much everything. So that's another reason I love about this handbag. But it also comes with black color with palladium hardware. They also have fabric style as well. So different option to go for. And this color, I don't know if it's available now, if back in stock but it has been very, very popular and hard to get. It's like deep caramel color. It's really yummy color. But honestly, out of the ones that I got at that time, I've been wearing this Lupovo more than this and this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And the items I feature in this video, if these are available online, I will have a link down below in the description box. And I am going to see you guys in my next video. 